jump into the car, you know, through the window. Like the jigs of, I was going to say jigs of hazard style, yeah. but maybe that's too old for you. Yeah, I don't maybe you don't re recognise that. We are on the top of Galty Moor. Hi, Walk Watchers. Uh, welcome back to another one of our videos. I've just stopped off here on the service station uh, on my way down to County Tipperary because uh, I'm on my way to climb Galty Moor which is actually County Limerick and County Tipperary's County High Point which I'm very excited about because it's another one to tick off the list um, but that's not the main uh, point of going down here today uh, because I'm off to meet a young man a young man that makes me sound like I'm about a hundred. A young man, <laughs> a young man, uh, a young fella. <laughs> he is extremely interesting. Uh, a dynamic, dedicated, highly focused young man. He's great, and I cannot wait to introduce him to you today. The point of, of doing these up a mountain with chats and interviews is really to find out about the motivation of people who have uh, inspired me and motivated me to get up the mountain. So I'm really excited to have a chat with him. I am of course talking about uh, Dylan Lynch and I'll be meeting with his dad, Pat, as well. So uh, it promises to be a great day. Galty Moore, Dylan and Pat, it's gonna be fantastic. So stay with us for the journey. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, and uh, we'll chat along the route. And what a day it was to just warm and sunny. Great day for walking. Well, here, boys, Sorry, guys, I'm gonna be really geeky. There's a green hair streak butterfly has just landed. Oh, don't be nasty. There we go. So now the first thing to tell you is that if you want any information about what Dylan's getting up to and what Pat's doing, then you need to go to Dylan's Adventures on Instagram and that will furnish you with all the information that you could possibly want. I'm not actually sure that we stopped talking the whole way up the mountain. <laughs> we just talked about everything, school and subjects and hiking apps and technology and you name it, we talked about it. We're not going up. We're going up a little bit of it, you can see the track. And then we're going to go right okay. and around it to the base of Galti Bjog yeah. and up to that call there where you can see the pea tag. Yeah. And that's where we kind of go behind a little bit okay. and up to Galti Moor then. Okay. So as I said before, this is me ticking off the County High Point for Limerick and Tipperary. I've never been to the Galtys, I've never walked Galti Moor. So I was stunned at the beauty of this place. I definitely will be back uh, to adventure some more. This is so impressive, it's just beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. A few minor knocking down there, but the first yeah. big one is called Knockshana Hullen. Yeah. It's got a huge old burial cairn on top. And the village underneath Cahin, where I came from, a few miles away. Uh -huh. The last couple of years now, they marked it on the shortest day of the year. Oh, really? They go up for sunset the day before and light a little fire on top and Fantastic. same for sunrise on the shortest day. Fantastic. It used to be only the shortest day they did but got so popular. Yeah. They don't go with me. Yeah. And then before you knew it we were up on the call and I think that's Loch Taheen there just down below us. And then as we sweep round to Galdi Moor, we get a great view of those magnificent cliffs. It's almost as if the whole side of the mountain has just disappeared. It is stunning. Mm -hmm. 
Now Pat was saying that this is the easier trail up the mountain. Good path, no drama, very straightforward. Until you get to the foot of Gelty Beg, then it gets really damp and moist. But from the call, that's where the real hiking starts to take you up to the, the peak. amazing weather we got. We could see right away out to the Knockmeal Downs, right away out to the Comoros. As we swing back round to Galtee Beg, then we could see uh, Sleeve Namon and of course round to Kush and all those mountains over there. Just amazing, amazing day. Now the geology of uh, the Galtee is Devonian red sandstone, shale and grey whack. Grey whack being a variety of sandstone, really hard and rough because of the feldspar and other fragments in it. But it's got huge lumps of quartz as you can see here. Yeah. I'm going to run up this hill. I'm going to run straight back down without even stopping to stop. You say hill though. It's not a hill. No, no. It's a huge mountain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna run up this huge mountain. <laughs> I'm gonna press the button on my phone. Uh -huh. I'm gonna run straight back down. <laughs> and I'm gonna do that for the time. This is very intense. It's, it's a huge effort. Huge effort. It's just so impressive. It's great. Really good. And there it is, the county high point of Limerick and Tipperary, Galtee Moor, at 918 metres. Right, okay. Dylan, Pat, hello. Uh, how are you? you good. <laughs> good. Uh, thank you, first of all, uh, no for all. bringing us up here today. It's a pleasure. It's Thanks. been great. Thank you yeah. for doing the travelling. Oh, it's, it's, not a, it's not a problem at all. Um, we are on the top of Galtee Moor. Yeah. Uh, which, Dylan, is not an issue to you, but for me, it was a, a bit of a challenge. It's great. I am able to tick it off the list now. Yeah. Um, so look, the idea for doing these chats up a mountain uh, is really to have a talk with people who have inspired me and motivated me to get my boots on mm. um, and really to find out what your motivation is, your mm. inspiration for doing this kind of thing, getting yeah. up a mountain, you know? Um, so I thought we'd start off with some easy ones. Very good. And <laughs> some quick fire ones. Okay. And then uh, we'll get into some of the, the meatier ones. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, here we go. Sweet or savoury? Sweet. Okay. Going out or staying in? Going out in the mountain. Oh. <laughs> A diplomatic answer. Uh, cook or do the dishes? I can cook, so do the dishes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay. Vacation to do lots or vacation to do nothing? Lots. Lots. Everything. Everything. Yeah. Do it all. But what would you rather suffer? A ninja attack or a pirate attack? A pirate. A pirate. <laughs> uh, Burger King or McDonald's? McDonald's. Oh, that was easy. 100%. Now, this is the big controversial one that everybody stumbles on here. All right. There is a right and a wrong answer. Okay. <laughs> Pineapple on your pizza or not? Oh, definitely not. Okay, that's the right answer. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> good, good. Uh, video games or movies? Movie. Movies. Good movie. Yeah, 100%. Uh, 
Uh, would you rather have hands that float in the air or knuckles that trail along the ground? Well, I don't want to be like a gorilla on my knuckles, so <laughs> probably the hands in the air. I'd start to look like I'm having fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, last question. Okay. Forest or beach? Forest, 100%. For absolutely right. Yeah. Absolutely right. Yeah. That's great. Now, look, I have been following you for a while. Mm. Some people would say stalking, but I, I prefer <laughs> to think of it as following and encouraging. Yes. <laughs> um, and I am stunned by the list of achievements. I, when I was doing a wee bit of research for our chat today, I listed all the achievements just the ones that are on your social media yeah, yeah. Uh, and your website and I just listed them down the side of the page and I got to the stage still and I thought I can't read all these out because <laughs> otherwise it would be, be a very long video yeah. but I picked a few out yeah. and I, I just want to go through them very quickly 2016 at the age of nine you were the youngest person to climb all the county high points in Ireland yep you have International Karate Awards under your belt. Yeah. Are, you, are you going for your black belt or have you got your black belt? Going for my black belt in the end of June. The Holy June. smokes. Yeah. You're the All-Ireland Hill Walking Champion for 2022. Yep. That was me, yeah. Unreal. And you came second in the Irish Mountaineer of the Year. Yeah. Uh, was that the same year? Yeah, only last amount of Mike. Yeah. I a fine competitor. Yeah. <laughs> you have to say that. He pushed us to our limits. Yeah, he yeah. has to yeah. yeah. You have to say that about him, don't you? <laughs> As I say, look, that's that's only a tiny amount of the list yeah. that I had written out. And you've just turned seventeen at the yeah, beginning of May. Just, yeah. That's unreal. That's unreal. Take us back to the beginning. Where did it all start? How did all of this happen? Uh, yeah, sure. I suppose when I was young, like, Dad would bring me out onto the local mountains and the Bally Howers, Kilkurig would be our most local one. It's only a small 300 or 400 metres, but we'd go out there and we, we wouldn't really know where we were at, like, but we'd go up anyway and I really enjoyed it, like. And I suppose as time went on, we started coming up more, Galtie more, um, that went down and all them. And then now, I suppose I was kind of seven or eight then, and I was really enjoying it. And we said, we'll take it a step further and we might do the county high points. And Dad was looking into it then, and you kind of find that, found out that the other youngest person to do it by then was... Was 12. Was 12. So yeah. he said, maybe I might set the goal of doing it by the time 9 or 10. Yeah. Just as a bit of a challenge. And while we were doing it then, like, we kind of decided we'd fundraise for the karate club and for my quarter dojo, where I was learning at the time. So we did a bit of fundraising for that. Unbelievable. Yeah. And Pat, I mean, th this all sort of started around the same time for you then, did it? Or were you sort of pretty, hiking before that? Pretty much as Dylan's sister, Rachel, kind of went to about three or four, we started bringing her to the hills to begin with. Yeah. And then Dylan just fell in as well as he got older, so. Yeah. yeah. Um, she she was out of the buggy at age two, refused to go back into a buggy <laughs> at age two, so it was walking after that, so. Yeah. Living in a village, we had to get out a little bit from the town just for a walk, so yeah. the Bally Howers were the, were the nearest, so Brilliant. very easy to explore, they're very safe, so it yeah. just became a bit of a habit or a pastime really after that then. So. Yeah. 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 And did you ever expect it to become such a big thing for Absolutely you guys and not, for Dylan? No, no. I mean, this, this is a bit of an obsession, guys, let me be very honest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, true, yeah. 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 I, sw I suppose it kind of happens gradually, it sneaks off on you. Yeah. You don't realise you're addicted until you're addicted. Yeah, You just that's can't stop true. walking. Yeah. And, and that's kind of progressed for you because you're not just walking the mountains now, you're yeah. running the mountain, yeah, mountains. Yeah, running them now. I suppose I did a lot of walking and I kind of took a break last year and I kind of, now I'm starting to run the mountains. It's kind of, a, it's a change, like, yeah. it's good to change it up every once in a while to try something new and I really enjoy it. Like, it's, it's more, it's a different challenge. Sure. You know, sure. You know, running for a time, it's different, and I really enjoy it. Like to mix it up a bit. I mean, let's just for everybody watching, just make sure that they understand that you do have other things that that are in your life. Yeah. Um, but in saying that, those things you deal with with equal, like yeah. you're obsessed with those. Do the karate stuff yeah. has really taken off for you as well. It, I yeah, mean, I really enjoy that. Yeah. yeah. I'm mean, part of the local Kildare Karate Club since yeah. I was five. 
So I'm there 12 years now. <laughs> but, it, but it's not just taking part in that, Dylan. I mean, you have gone on to tutor younger groups. Yeah, you, yeah. And, and in England, you've done groups over there. Did you do Zoom calls to England yeah, on stage? Yeah, over, over COVID, I was taking part in classes taught by a, a lad in England. It was okay. very, they're very good. And I help out with the kids' class in Kildare as well. Like, so. That's unreal. That's brilliant. Unreal. And then... You also, I mean, your whole passion really is the coding thing. Yeah. I Where really did that start? It, yeah. What is that? Just when I was when I was eight, like Dad brought me into Mallow into this place called Coder Dojo. Uh huh. It's kind of an organisation, and they organise coding classes that are free around the country, around the world now. And what they teach you is they teach you how to program, so how to tell a computer to do something, how to make a website, or how to make an app, or how to model a ball. All these different things. And I suppose I really took an interest to it, like, because there's so, many, so much you can do with it. So creative you can be. So many different things you can make, like. Yeah. Like, I remember when we were doing the 32 County High Points Challenge first, I was able to code a website that we could keep track of our progress on it. And then we were able to sell little ads on that website to local businesses to fundraise for the Crash Club and for the Coda Dojo. So that was our idea then. And you just came up with that? You just created that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Decided to put it on the internet. Unbelievable. Just as kind of a record of what when we were doing them and what yeah. we had left and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Pat, do you ever be worried because he's doing so much and he's constantly on the go? You know, he he gets up in the morning and he's coding and he's you know at the karate club or I mean he's got his studies as well. Um, are you ever worried that he's doing too much or? Not really, no. Um, <laughs> Let him get on with it. Good, it's a good way to figure out what he likes. Yeah. And definitely find out if he's good at something or not. Or yeah. If he has a passion for it or not. Because yeah. it's something that's very hard to figure out when you're young, really, I think. And a lot of people just get to the end of their school and they, they still don't know what yeah. they might want to do. He, he might be the same when he gets to that age. True. When he finishes school, he still might know, but. Yeah. At least he'll have tried a good few things. Yeah. And even though there's a lot there, things still get done, you know, so. Yeah. Um, I'm sure he'll tell me if he's, <laughs> <laughs> if he's stuck on something that he's not getting it done or something, yeah, I don't yeah. know, but. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. I suppose, like, it's all, if you, if you love it all, you'll make time for it all, like. Mm-hmm. Like, I do really enjoy everything I do. Yeah. If I don't enjoy it, like, I won't do it, like. Yeah. I like making time for the things I enjoy, for the walking, for the coding, for the karate. Well, g- give us kind of an idea of, of, a, of a day for you, because how do you begin to jigsaw piece all of those things together? Yeah, it depends. Like, with school it can be difficult. Like, sometimes yeah. I get up before school, maybe go for a run, or do a bit of stretching, depends. And, you know, come back, have a bit of breakfast. If I go to school then, come back, then I could be doing a bit of homework, doing a bit of coding. And then after crash class in the evening, I'm back and yeah. in the lava, in the bed. Yeah. That's a full day. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, and then with the, the, the mountain stuff, because, I mean, you do... What I've noticed also is that not only do you go out for walks, hikes and whatever, yeah. you do like to set yourself a challenge. Yeah. You do like and prefer the kind of challenge aspect of it. Yeah, it's... I think it's nice to have something to work towards almost, to kind of train towards. Yeah. And something that you want to achieve. I suppose, because I'm young, I want to achieve things like... Okay, rub it in, like, yeah. you know, you, <laughs> are you saying that I'm old? Exactly, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're done for. I don't mean it like that, but, you know, like, I don't know, I'd feel ambitious, like, to yeah. do things. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I, I have loads of time that... Yeah. And I want to get things done, you know. I get that. I want to work towards them. Yeah. Set, like I feel like if I set goals, I can kind of nearly set steps to reach them goals. Then all the training and it's all worth it in the end. Like. I love that. I, I love is, that. Running is definitely an advantage because you can get it done faster. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, like yeah. you could be gone for a four-hour hike, but a run is going to be done half that or less. Yeah. And that that's something that's amazed me today because we have taken it relatively, I think, at a relatively good pace. Yeah. But you were telling me that you can run up and down this in what? An hour and four. Away on. An yeah. hour and four minutes. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well then, one of the things 
that that challenge gives you the opportunity to do is to support some of the local charities Definitely. like your karate club like you, there's a couple of other youth organizations that you've supported yeah. in the CWIS, past yeah yeah um and the one that you're you're going to be supporting again which came, seems to be one that comes up a lot yeah. is barrettstown barrettstown yeah talk to me about this charitable aspect i mean why do the charity stuff why not just leave it as a task for yourself well i suppose I'm lucky in the way that I have the opportunity to be able to do all these things, that I have sure. the opportunity to get up in the morning and go for a run. Not everyone my age can do that. Yeah. A lot of people have an illness that prevents them from... They, they, they would love nothing more than to go outside, but sometimes their health won't allow it. And Barrettstown, I suppose, the reason we fundraise for them is because they give young people an opportunity, especially if they have a terminal illness or something. Like They bring a bit of fun back into their lives. Which I think is the most important thing ever. Yeah. That you're enjoying the time you have, like. Yeah. And I suppose that's why we kind of try and help them out as much as we can. That's class. That's class. So when you're organising a new challenge, mm. like this new one that we'll talk about in a wee minute, yeah. how do you go about, I mean, the two of you were, were telling me some of the logistics that go into organising mm. the latest challenge. Yeah. Where do you begin? Is it just a conversation between you and yeah, your dad, or is definitely it definitely a couple of conversations? Kinda. <laughs> yeah, just usually a mad idea first, like yeah, yeah. and then you kind of whittle it down to kind of the finer details, and then eventually, you know, you'll be off making routes, trying to figure out times. Is it possible? St stuff like that. But once you're that far, you know, yeah, you're set on it already. Yeah, yeah. It's just yeah. finding the idea first, and then you're off. Because like during, during COVID, there we used to be out walking quite a bit. Yeah. Even Rachel just to come with us because she was at home as well. And yeah. We were limited to the 5k at that time. Yeah. And a while into that we just decided how, how long could we walk within our 5k. So we did it for the whole day for one charity that time as well. Yeah. yeah. But that just came from an idea again, like walk all day yeah. inside in our 5k. So. Yeah, yeah, that's right, because yeah. at that stage we were only allowed we to go allowed, a certain yeah, distance exactly, yeah. around your home. Yeah. And you made that into a thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. unreal. Mad ideas, like, yeah. yeah. Well, Pat, is it just that, you know, Dylan is, you know, hell-bent on, on coming up with these ideas and you're then sort of sucked in alongside it? Are you are you the taxi driver or are you the man <laughs> behind it that's, that's turning the, Definitely the, the driver, organ grinder? Right, yeah. Definitely the driver. Yeah. Some... Sometimes a lot of the mad ideas come from me, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then the rider, yeah, they'll, they'll go or they won't go, like so. Yeah. Sure. But, um, yeah, a good bit of the planning, yeah. when things are going to happen. A bit of inspiration. If it'll come down to a route, Dylan is definitely the man that'll yeah. find the route and put it down, that yeah. we'll have that to follow or whatever. Yeah. Sure. Um, yeah, so yeah. That definitely speeds it up a lot because it would take me a lot longer to do that. I could do it, but it would take a lot longer. It would so. take longer. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're mentioning inspiration. Mm. Uh, what is the inspiration here? What is the motivation for you? What what gets you up into the mountains every time? Yeah. Is it is it just is it just the health thing and the goals and setting those goals because you're young? Let's mm. not rub it in. But there it is again. Is it just because you're you're young and ambitious and it's a goal? Or is it something more? I suppose it's the days like this really where the weather is beautiful and like you're you're free up here, you know? Yeah. Like you're completely free. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. You can run wherever. Yeah. And I like that, the freedom aspect. And also the challenge, I suppose. Yeah. That inspires me, you know. Like, you know, before you set off, you're wondering, oh, I wonder how hard I'll find this. Will I be able to do it? And then when you get back and you have it done, you're overjoyed. Like, it's it's brilliant. Like I'd be, so, I'd be so happy sometimes after a run. I'd be on a high for the rest of the day. There is a, a big high, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, definitely, absolutely. Yeah. And I think it's constantly changing as well. Yeah. One year it might be to get points for a competition, and you might be trying to do so many in a week yeah. or whatever. Another year you might be just going out doing it for pleasure, you know. So. Yeah. But yeah. definitely when you're getting the points, there's a lot of pleasure in it as well. So. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's different reasons. One of the things that I always ask people when, when we're having these conversations is, 
do you think that for people it's about running away from something down there or is it about running to something is it about escaping mm. the normal everyday life or is it about setting a goal and a target and, a, and achieving that target yeah i feel for me anyways i'm definitely running towards goals or my future i suppose in a way like wow. i'm kind of trying to set out to be what i want to be wow when i go running like so i'm definitely running towards something and I suppose in a way I'm running away from other things as well, like <laughs> running away from the past. <laughs> running away as quick as I can, away from school. But, <laughs> but um, like yeah, I suppose it's it's not that I'm running away from stuff, I suppose, it's that I'm trying to get new things. Yeah. And you might lose some things in the process, like, but yeah. it's just trying to explore and enjoy it. Yeah. It's the main thing. And I'd always feel it's going to something as well, even though you mightn't even know what it is. Yes. Set out. Yeah. It's always you're, progress. You're always going to get a surprise though. Yeah. yeah. Like, I've been up the Valley Hours many times now and the other day was the first time I've ever saw a cuckoo up close. Really? Yeah. So, like after many years, that's amazing to have yeah. something new like that. Yeah. yeah. Just appear, you know. Yeah, yeah well, so there, this like, this morning, as we were coming up, you could hear green hair streak, yeah. Yeah. butterfly. Yeah. yeah. First time I've spotted one, that's just fantastic. Yeah, yeah. You're absolutely right. So you, you're definitely always going to something, but you might know what it is, you know? Yeah. Yeah, which you won't be disappointed, that's for sure. Tell us about the latest challenge. What yeah. what, <laughs> what madcap scheme have you come up with this time? <laughs> so, uh, run 32. We're yep. doing it in Ada Barrettstone. And the plan is to run to the highest point of every county in Ireland consecutively, so one after another. So we'll be starting on Milray, in Mayo, we'll be, run we'll be walking up slowly and then as soon as we touch the trig pillar the timer starts and the race is on so we'll be sprinting down then drive over to Binbon and Galway, run up, run back down, drive to the next one and kind of continue anti-clockwise around the country okay. ticking them all off, Carantool, Galtimore, Natwell Down, Donard, all the way around and then we're going to finish up on, on in Donegal on Errigal Fantastic. The current record at the moment is about 52 hours. Okay. So the goal is to beat that. The goal is to get in under in under that time. We'll see. Okay. Hopefully. How and confident are you? <laughs> fairly confident. <laughs> Feeling confident at the moment, yes. <laughs> and when he says we'll run, yes. I, what he means is he will run. Yeah. I am the driver. Yeah, dad, dad'll drive. <laughs> and he'll be getting all my gear ready. So when I get back, I'll just literally jump into the car, you know, through the window. Like the Jukes of, I was going to say Jukes of Hazard style, but yeah. maybe that's too old for you. Yeah, I don't maybe know you don't re recognise that, that We're reference. very lucky to have Bob Flavin come on board. Yeah. And he's going to drive some of it with us as well, and he's got Skoda on board. Yeah. It was a car for the journey as well. So That's yeah. phenomenal. Thank, yeah. Thanks very much to those yeah, for, the, it's for the support. It's brilliant it's support to, like to have. Yeah. So. That's amazing. So in preparation for this then, yeah. what's the preparation like? What are you doing? Lots and lots of running. <laughs> lots of volume running. Um, I've been trying a few of the routes as well. Like obviously I know Galtimore Moore and Natmel Down like the back of my hand by now. I've done them so much, but over the next kind of month, I suppose, before the challenge, we're going to be driving over to other ones, checking to make sure everything's all right. You know, that I know exactly what I'm doing on the day. Yeah. Making sure that the routes are perfect. Yeah. That we don't waste any time getting lost or anything like. That'll be the main thing, it'll have to be efficient. <laughs> yeah, that's what the training is really, and just planning as well what we're going to bring and how we're going to do it logistically. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. And logistimately, <laughs> logistimately, <laughs> logistically, Pat, then uh, one car, two drivers, all the food, all the equipment, that's a marathon in itself to drive around the country in yeah. less than 52 hours, stopping along the way. Yeah, we'll start the evening of the 11th. Yeah. But by the 12th, we're back here to Galtimore, knock me down again. So we'll have a little bit of local support with some food that day. Okay. So that takes care of that day. And then the next day, we'll, we'll have food for us again. We can get a stock of food from that local <laughs> person again, like that'll help us. So yeah. yeah. It'll, it's, that'll all help, you know. We won't have to bring everything on the first day. Okay, that's good. Yeah. 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 Okay. Although this is like your your charity mm. challenge, you're also taking part in the 
the High Point Ireland Challenge at the minute. You're clocking up your points already for that. Yeah, yeah, I'm in the running challenge and Dad's in the hill walking yeah, challenge, alright. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, trying to clock him up on the side. It's not my main focus this year, but on the side, sure. Yeah, sure. Why not Why keep not? it going? If you're going to be running the mountain anyway, yeah. you might as well clock up the points. If I'm going to be here, I might as well get the points. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just another one of those reasons to get out, really. Yeah. 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 It's another motivation. If you don't factor. have that motivation, sometimes you can... Yes. You can slip away and make an excuse. Well, it's easy then up. to come up with the excuses, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. It's easier just to say, ah, oh, no, we'll do that tomorrow. So yeah. if yeah. the clock is ticking on the month and you haven't got a lot of points, you'll be going, maybe yeah. I could go and get a few, you know? Definitely. Look, guys, I, I've, you know, you've only walked up the mountain, we've, we've still got to go back down, but I've had an absolute ball time. I've loved spending time with you both. And we have too. Oh, well, thank Brilliant. you. It's just been a lot of fun. And okay, so we've had great weather, and it's been it's been really great to, to see around us. But um, Dylan, listen, I'm I'm seriously impressed. I I have been since since I started following your stuff. Uh, I, I've just been so impressed with how focused you are, how dedicated you are, and how much you wanna uh, do this, and not only for yourself and for your own goals and targets and for your own development, but also for people like Dad's time. I think that's that's fantastic. Um, so listen guys, thank you both thank for, you. Thank for you. today. It's been it's brilliant. You yes, made a huge so effort today to come down. Thank you very much. Oh, it's been well. a pleasure, an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Apologies for the sound there towards the end. Now Pat and Dylan were telling me that the challenge will be about 8,000 metres worth of climbing and about four marathons worth of distance. I mean, that's just a huge challenge. Now thank you for clicking on the video today, I really hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, why don't you consider clicking on the subscribe button and hitting the wee bell for notifications because that really helps here with the channel. So this has been the Walk Watchers Walk up a mountain with Dylan Lynch up in Galdi Moor. I have been really blown away by Dylan's dedication, his focus, his drive, his determination his motivation and I am truly inspired because of him to get back out into the mountains. I hope you have been too so why don't you get your boots on, go outside and go exploring and I'll see you on the next one.